What's up everybody, Jared here with CarBuzz.com and today I am driving something very unique. This is a Mercedes G-Wagon, or I should say these are Mercedes G-Wagons, but they are not from Mercedes. These are not the ones that you will go into the showroom and buy with a big powerful twin turbo V8 engine for $200,000. These are actually the idea child of this mastermind over here. Alex, why don't you introduce yourself? Hey guys, Alex Levin, founder of Expedition Motor Company. We've been doing Wolves exclusively since 2017. All right, so Expedition Motor Company, they are based out of- Frenchtown, New Jersey. New Jersey. And as you can see, this is not the type of G-Wagon that you might be used to because it only has two doors. And as you can see, it's not, there is no roof. So you called this a Wolf G-Wagon. Can you explain what a Wolf G-Wagon is as we walk over to the vehicles here? Yeah, sure, so these are originally coming from the German military. As you can see, parachute hooks, uh, these were used to drop them out of helicopters. And the German military gives a name to a lot of the equipment that they use. So the nomenclature Wolf comes from a two-door Cabrio G-Wagon with a fold-down windshield. That's it, that's what makes a Wolf. That's if what makes a Wolf. it's got four doors or a hard top, it's not a Wolf. All right, so, and this company will only build you a Wolf. They will not build you a four-door G-Wagon. They won't build you one with a hard no top. No long wheelbases, no hard tops, just this. Yep, so if you're looking for something with tons of creature comforts, this is not the G-Wagon that you wanna buy. This is all for the experience, and we're gonna talk about it because it is really cool. But real quick, I just wanted to mention, what is the German name for these? You might have missed it when Alex talked about these, because this is a really cool feature here. Yeah, so these are parachute hooks, so the body's gonna be truly re reinforced, so it's not like they're just you know stuck on there. Uh, and it comes from a wolf, that's the Luftlande wolf. Luftlande. So these, literally, they would strap parachutes to, drop them out of an airplane so you know that this thing is really built tough. So let's talk about a little bit of what's underneath here. I see we've got some big, nice tires. We also have some upgraded suspension on here as well. So talk a little bit about what goes into building and restoring one of these, because this started out in life as a clapped out, like retired army vehicle, and now it's this beautiful work of art. Yeah, so you would think that you know, NATO militaries, German militaries, Austrian militaries, that they would do a ridiculous amount of maintenance. Uh, fact of the matter is, they were driven around by 18-year-old kids smoking cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> so these come to us in rough conditions. They've lived very short lives, but tough lives. You know, not a lot of miles driven, but a lot of salt, a lot of rust, a lot of leaking uh, transmission parts, a lot of leaking engines. Mm -hmm. um, we put in over 2,000 hours right now. The last time we did an audit was a couple of months ago. We were at 2,100 man hours on average for each build. And we do 24 builds per year. Wow. And we've got 22 guys doing this full time, just this, all day long. We strip down wolves and we rebuild wolves. That's it. Yep. And let's check out some of the more practical features here in the back. Um, as you can see, very dog friendly here. Oh yes, good boy. So you can have your pup riding along in the back here. We'll actually use this gorgeous blue one to show off just so we let the dog have his space here. Um, but you see, you got your big spare tire here. They put the little Expedition Motor Company uh, cover here on the back. You can actually add this. This is optional, the little extra fuel canister. It's just, even if you're not putting gas in it, I just think that just looks so like it belongs there. I think you should definitely, how much is that option? It's 500, but 500 bucks. It, it looks cool. If you're spending 165, 500 bucks to make it look cool like that. Uh, we've got our swing gate here. It's got those classic G-Wagon uh, handles that just make that really, really nice sound. Uh, we actually have uh, one of the crossbars here. This is actually for the windshield or, or for the roof mechanism of the one here. Um, but as you can see, we have actually a ton of space back here, here in the trunk. Uh, they do put this nice little lining uh, on it, this kind of rubberized, and we do have this really nice wood underneath it. So that's not standard. These are optional. These are $2,000 extra, really easy uh, jump seats here. So you can actually fit six people in one of these, which is more than a brand new G-Wagon, I should note, which is kind of funny. Um, so you can actually get two kids here in the back and then you also have these seats here, but we'll come around and we'll talk about that with getting in. Uh, so we have, again, these really nice G-Wagon handles. Again, you get that gorgeous G-Wagon thunk, that really good thunk that you need to have from a G-Wagon, that nice click. Up here, 
uh, EMC is going to add heated seats so you get fully reupholstered seats you can choose your leather color you can have whatever you want here really easy to tip these seats forward just to undo this latch Oop. undo this latch seat tips forward like so you can get into the back seats here Ugh. so we'd have nice little lap belts here they add this so this is all custom from you guys right right That's here right. this wood panel you do have some stereo equipment right here heated seats as i mentioned in the front and in the second row and you even get a little cup holder back here. That was a nice little addition from you guys. I appreciate that here. Everybody's welcome. But we got to tell them about the storage. So so the really unique thing about these being army vehicles is, Alex, can you tell us what this area used to be for? Yeah, so this box is uh, the original ammunition box. The original uh, ammo box. That's where you put all your bullets. <laughs> yeah, you see some holes here. So these is where the gun mounts used to mount to. So the windshield obviously folds down in the wolf and your gun mount mounts out on top of the ammunition box so you can shoot out the front. Yep, gun mount right here. Gun comes up to about here. This window actually drops down super easily with like two handles and then you shoot out of it. Perfect. Like, so I love that they left kind of the remnants of this kind of stuff here. You actually get a little bit of storage in here as well. You just undo these latches and this actually lifts up and you get a little bit of storage on each side underneath the seats as well. Um, and then Alex, let's go ahead and hop in that white car and we can talk a little bit more about what you get here in the front as well. So here we're on the white one. This one has the bull bar. This one has the winch up front as well. And so as you can see, pretty simple on the, on the interior here, you've got the two spoke steering wheel, but you guys reline this with this really nice leather. So it's double just wrapped. Like, so it's a little easier on the hands, little easier on the hands. It does have a uh, power steering, but you still get things like roll up windows. This is not power windows. This is again, remember a retired military vehicle. We've got very basic gauges here. You've got your speedometer here. You've got fuel, kind of that's it. Engine temperature, you don't even have a tachometer. So okay. you kind of just have to feel, uh, cause you do get a manual transmission as standard. But there is an automatic available. That's what's in that blue uh, truck over there. It's five speed auto or a four speed manual, but you do also get a crawler gear. I actually really love this little plate that you guys made, hand built by Expedition Motor Company. Really nice looking plate. It just looks like it's actually like natural and belongs there. You also get four wheel drive. They have a very simple, just kind of strap to uh, make sure that it stays in a uh, rear wheel drive, but you can put it in four wheel high and you also have four wheel low that you can engage on the fly. And then these uh, little levers right here, you just pull those up. I just engaged the front locking differential and then you have your rear locking diff uh, back here. So super easy to do, but you did add some creature comforts here. So talk about what isn't standard from the G-Wagon. Obviously, yeah, wire, this right wireless here. car play makes things a whole lot easier. You know, I get pissed off when I get into a rental car these days and doesn't have wireless car play. Uh, AC system, right? So they came out with uh, originally with uh, no AC, just heat. And the heat was subpar. Now mm -hmm. the heat's awesome. AC is good, great, fine. You know, as good as it's going to get in a, yeah. in a cabrio. Uh, heated seats in the front and the rear, yep. um, all of that's standard. All of that is standard. You don't have to add it. So it does come with all of that, which is really nice. And probably the coolest feature right here, this is the map light. And I know a lot of cars have a <laughs> map light, right? But this is literally a map light because if you're a soldier, you're somewhere, you might not have GPS that works. Like you might not know exactly where you are. This is so that you could read your physical map. That's why this is an actual map light. And I just think that is so cool. So this is a very raw, very original experience with a few modern creature comforts that make it a little more livable. But to really experience it, we got to get it out on the road, don't we? That's right. All right, let's take it for a test drive. And now we've gotten out on the road in the Wolf G-Wagon from the Expedition Motor Company. And straight away, I'm going to tell you that this is not like driving a brand new Mercedes G-Class from the showroom. There's no twin turbocharged V8 under the hood. You don't have massage seats. You don't have all of this insulation. It is a very raw, very natural experience. But I think that's what you were really going for, right, Alex? Tell me about why you build the G-Wagons the way that you do. Yeah, Jared, definitely there's no nannying here. We're not nannying any of our clients. This wolf is not nannying anybody. Uh, we're known for building these with the original engines, uh, original transmissions. 
So really what we're doing is uh, we are a resto mod company. Mm -hmm. Well, we're very much closer on the restoration side of that than on the modification side of that. Uh, the modifications are mainly for a few cre just a few creature comforts, not too many. We're not doing massage chairs. They're to make the drive nice, much nicer than it was originally coming off the line. Um, but we truly believe in the original beating heart of these vehicles and the authentic part of that. So we're selling an authentic driving experience that's been refined for today's driver. That's it. Uh, not less, not more. Yeah. Uh, the suspension is, you know, very important to be upgraded. We've done countless of hours of R and D of, I'd say, probably hundreds of combinations of uh, different levels of uh, firmness in the bushings, our shocks, so and as our we go springs. Over, as we go over a bump here, exactly. Normally, in like a Defender, like an old school Jeep, like a Willys, you're like over this I'm on a cobblestone road and this thing is very soft yeah yeah it's important for this to be usable uh, for 70 to 80 percent of the people in 70 to 80 percent of their scenarios it's not ridiculously fast mm -hmm. it's not ridiculously slow um, and it's highly usable for daily driving yeah so that's what I'm getting from behind the wheel here the first thing I want to iterate to you is that just like I mentioned before, we just went over some cobblestones. You're not gonna shake and shimmy. The whole thing doesn't feel like it's gonna fall apart like a tin can. I've actually driven like an original like 60s Bronco and it just yeah, like, beats, yeah. beats the crap out of you. That is not the experience here. The yeah. suspension tuning on this is really fantastic. You also do have um, power steering. Um, you have, it's hydraulic, um, so, you know, this is not going to be the most accurate steering you're ever going to feel. It does feel kind of like old oh, yeah. vintage yeah. steering, but there's not a lot of like pressure to it. It is very light, so you don't need like massive amounts of strength uh, to move it around, even at slow parking lot speeds. So in terms of like drivability, this is something that's really easy to drive. If you, ha if you want like your second house beach cruiser type deal, leave it in the garage most of the year, take it out on a nice sunny day. This is really perfect for that. But here's the here's the really fun part. A new Mercedes G-Wagon comes with a twin turbo V8. You're getting anywhere from like 460 to almost 600 horsepower in a new G-Wagon. They leave the original motor in this. There's no upgraded option available. You can't even get uh, the newer turbo diesel that came after this. It's a five cylinder diesel engine and you get a four speed manual transmission with a crawler gear. There's not even a tachometer, so you kind of just have to listen and know when to shift. So right now I'm just gonna kind of go flat out here. Here we go. That's 20, time to shift. That's 30. A normal G-Wagon would have been at 70 miles an hour already, <laughs> but that's why this is so fun. You really feel like a part of the experience, especially when driving uh, the four-speed uh, four manual version, which is what comes standard on your guys' Wolfs. But I want you to tell the story. You can get a five-speed automatic in this car. It's $12,000, which might sound like a lot of money, but there's kind of a reason why it costs that much to add an automatic, because these didn't come with autos originally. Yeah, that's right. They didn't come with autos originally. So the price tag, uh, it's not a big uh, profit number or profit maker for us. It's at cost. Um, we have to source a 7226 automatic transmission, uh, do a full rebuild on it. Uh, and the electronics of the custom developed TCU also um, add to that number. So all in all, it comes out to 12,500. But the result is we've now put an OM um, transmission, the 7226 mm -hmm. transmission on something that wasn't built for an automatic transmission. Right. It doesn't have an ECU. There's no CAN bus here, but we've integrated it uh, nicely so that it's smooth, integrated experience. Right. And I have driven the automatic one. If you can kind of see behind me, we've got a gorgeous baby blue uh, Wolf Geoag and following us behind. Same engine, but that one has the five speed auto. And I was amazingly impressed by how well EMC tuned the automatic transmission. I know if you've driven like any resto modded like muscle car or whatever, sometimes you get that feeling of like you really have to floor it to get the get the kick down. Sometimes the shifts aren't quite smooth, you know, with, with the crate engine or original engine, whatever you're using. 
this one really felt like something that felt OEM, like it was from a Mercedes. It delivers really smooth shifts. You just kind of put it in gear. It crawls along at parking lot speeds really normally. You don't have to like slam the brakes to keep it from rolling at a stop. Like I've had to do in a lot of uh, classic vehicles that like didn't have power brakes originally. So really good tuning on that. And basically what EMC did was you're in fifth gear most of the time, but if you really need a downshift, they put a little kick down at the bottom of the pedal that'll lower it to like the lowest possible gear, give you all the acceleration because you kind of need it. Like yep. you're not really gonna be cruising at 80 miles an hour in this very comfortably. You might be able to get 70 if you're going on a little downhill slope. These are definitely not fast vehicles, but they're so fun. We've just got the bikini top. You do have AC to keep you cool, but you're gonna be getting a lot of sun in here. So even though there's AC, don't expect to be sweat free. But remember that this is not a new G-Wagon experience. This is meant to feel like that original cool army G-Wagon. But I think you guys just did such a nice job making this feel just that ever so slightly enough livable that you could drive this around all the time. And the stairs that you get, I've been driving around neighborhoods, construction areas, the construction workers give you a thumbs up. The people in the drive-thru give you a thumbs up. Everybody gives you the thumbs up when you're driving one of these. You just feel so cool. Yeah, you wouldn't want to bring a Ferrari, you know, to the, to the beach. Like mm -hmm. it's just not going to be the right car for the environment. Like you'd right. rather have, you know, something slow, something to take it in a little more. And it's funny because I'm not necessarily like, you know, this is not like my little step bar in the back recommendation, but I told the ECD this, that I loved to drive. So they build an electric Defender now. Mm -hmm. And I actually really like it for the purpose oh, cool. of, for the purpose of take the roof off. You drive through like a little, let's just say you own a lot of property, you yeah. have like a ranch or something like that. And you don't have the, like whatever, you just like are cruising around, cruising around yeah. like enjoying Quiet. the nature yeah. of it. And you know, I, that's not necessarily what you guys are going for, but I, I did really like that. But this just definitely feels like you're like in the environment a little more than like a new G wagon. Like it's, it's you're really, you're really getting the smell mm -hmm. and the sound and all and all that stuff, which is really cool. All right, so now that we've driven the Expedition Motor Company Wolf G wagon, all that's left to do is talk about how much it costs. So I have the founder here and he's going to tell you how much it costs, how you can get yourself one of these super cool, unique vehicles here. Jared, they're 165 to approximately 185,000. We don't have that many options. Uh, you know, a couple of exterior options, all you're gonna get pretty much everything standard. I really don't like the options game that the manufacturers do. Um, you get to pick your bull bar, winch, no winch. Um, you got your grill in black or in body, body color. color. Uh, tire, top colors, uh, four seats, six seats, and that's pretty much it. Your heated seats, your AC, all that stuff is standard. The biggest uh, differentiator in the price point is going to be your automatic. It adds 12500 to the price tag and that's what gets you to 185. Yep, and as you guys can see here, we've got this nice creamy kind of white color, this gorgeous baby blue. If you have a color that you want, they'll spray it. They can't promise that it'll look good, you know, but if you guys want whatever color you want. We'll send you, you the cards. Send we'll send you, send you the paint cards. You can, you can approve them, we build it. Yep, so it's a very custom process. Um, it takes about how long to order one of these from start to finish? Yeah, we're at about 16 weeks right now, and that's not 36 weeks. That's not 46 weeks. It's truly 16 weeks when we say it's gonna be 16 weeks. All right, so. If you're interested, hit up Expedition Motor Companies. I think this is such a cool product. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and ring that notification bell to be alerted of our latest videos. I'll see you next time.